Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. So, what do we got in store for you today? Well, as always, just a bunch of crap. But we're going to be talking about uh, Sony's overall, man, uh, you know, our, our, our take on uh, the, the press conference they presented at E3 this go-round, uh, and, you know, kind of our, our thoughts on where they're, where they're going in the future and such. Um, and as we kind of stated before, man, uh, as far as uh, someone winning E3, that's just stupid, man. I mean, you know, these companies are there to, uh, you know, present their products and kind of inform the masses and, uh, you know, a lot of them don't have to do that. Granted, it's very beneficial for them to do it, but, I mean, you know, fuck, dude, they get flack from all sides and people's, like, you know, interpretations of what they did wrong and what they could do better and stuff, but, you know, anyhow, we're not here to talk about that. Uh, we're gonna be talking about just Sony overall in general, man, and, uh, from, from actual gameplay footage, man, they knocked it out of the park. Uh, you know, it wasn't just like in-game engine kind of gameplay and such. Uh, you know, you actually got to see some, uh, you know, really, really more in-depth stuff in some of the titles they have coming out. Uh, Last of Us 2 looks ridiculous. Uh, you know, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, you know, looks ridiculous. Uh, I mean, you know, these, these games are gonna, gonna be definitely on the forefront of everyone's, you know, to play list. Uh, at least presumably, maybe they'll come out and they'll both really, really suck, but highly unlikely, man, especially studios like Naughty Dog, uh, man, damn, good studio, man, really good studio, those dudes, uh, know what they're doing, more than we do, anyhow, uh, overall, man, Sony went in the right direction with some gameplay and, you know, things like that, uh, would have been nice to see a couple other things on the horizon and whatnot, um, and, you know, as far as whatever little cutscenes, musical things and stuff, man, like they had in between segments to kind of segue into the next, uh, you know, a little breakdown on a game or some gameplay demo, whatever, uh, you know, yeah, whatever, you know, just like any of them, man, you know, Bethesda with Andrew WK, damn, other folks with whatever, you know, little musical acts and stuff, man, like, you know, was... It was what it was, you know, you're, you're, they're there to present games, man, and, you know, they put someone in charge, they probably hire someone or have someone internally in a position, like, okay, you're in charge of the conference, what you got for us, man, and, I mean, you know, you put on a show for, for millions and millions of folks, man, uh, you know, granted, you know, with online and such, but, uh, you know, see, see how that goes for you, but overall, man, Sony, not too shabby, man. Uh, you know, some, some good stuff on the forefront. Best presentation to sit through ever. No. Worst one? No. Uh, man, you know, you get, you get the information and such that you get from these things. And so, uh, you know, as far as, as far as that goes, that's how that goes. But, uh, Sony, you get a check, you know, because you, you, you knocked everything off the list that, that you kind of had to, you went into it already kind of releasing what you're going to be chatting about and stuff. And so it was nice to see that, you know, you really did stick to that and the rest is whatever. So keep on it. Look forward to some of those titles and releases, man, coming out, you know, a couple of them going to be a smidge out, but, uh, you know, yep, they're on the horizon. So put them on your radar, at least initially until they get, uh, pushed back. Have a good one. You probably didn't catch it next time. Probably won't.